Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, we're gonna be doing some gay men on the new Mac Pro. And the reason why we're doing this is we're trying to find out a baseline of the performance of the base system. So we find out what happens when we upgrade it to our Vega 64 GPU. That's coming up next. So first up, let's fire up a good, good old geek bench and find out what our metal scores in for the RX 580X. So geek bench, 40,000 on our metal score. Okay, let's try heaven, heaven benchmark. See how fast the system can be. So we're gonna make the quality ultra and the preset is gonna be extreme and the resolution is 1600 by 900 run. So we're getting 33 frames a second, extreme settings on this 20 year old <laughs> demo that everyone seems to be doing. I remember when this first came out, I was doing iOS games back then, back in the day. And this was actually amazing, fantastical when it first came out, but now it's a bit way too dated. But anyway, 45 frames a second on this scene, beautiful sound, 76 frames a second, RX 580 graphics. It is top notch. That's starting up the show. And my friends, let's get to it. Let's fire up some steam. Batman, Arkham City, play, error, not supported. Asylum, 32 bit apps, no longer supported. All right, Limbo, come on. Not supported. What the hell is going on with the system? Right there, I'm going round. This is on ultra, ultra settings. We got 56 frames a second, a nice, beautiful crash. Going straight, this is the 580X on a 2015 game. So 46 frames a second and I'm shaking it. Oh man, boom, shakalaka. That's 37 frames a second on the Mac Pro 580 base. Now over here on the 16 incher, this 16 inch has has the 5300M graphics. We're getting 60 frames a second over here. 68, 66 frames a second. 51 frames a second, 55 frames a second. Now the EGPU inspired MacBook Pro 15 inch. This guy's going 31 frames a second. This guy's actually going slower than without an EGPU plugged in. Is that right? Yeah, it's not throttling the CPU. Yeah, so this is in the 40s and this guy is in the 50s. So the winner of the racing games, that's the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Thank you, Steam, that was very good of you. All right, my friends, now it's time to get serious. Time to jump into Windows to find out how we can actually play some games on this system. All right, start up disk, click make changes. No, unlike a MacBook Pro, you have to always type in your password. There's no touch ID. Boom shakalaka, restarting into Windows. Gonna do some serious gaming now. One thing to note is you need to use Windows, the latest one, version 19.9. .9. Gotta say, it's a bit slow to load. Don't know what's going on today. So I'm just firing up Afterburner with Reva Tuner to get some frame rates on our screen. Boom. Xbox wireless controller. Let's do one of the games of the year this year, Resident Evil 2. This guy, I got free with my Vega 64. Will it run on RX 580X? About to find out. V-Sync is off frame rate. Gonna put it in variable to see how high we can get. Everything is set to high, max. Everything's set to max. This game is gorgeous, 69 frames a second. This is a QHD monitor. Driving a Harley, 60 frames a second. How many animations, cutscenes are all oh, there it is, we're running. We've got 52 frames a second. Look around, feels gorgeous, 55 frames a second. Running around here, beautiful shadows. Cop car. So this is maximum resolution on its monitor QHD. Well, ultra wide QHD, so 3440X1440. We're hitting max settings and it's going 53 frames a second. Holy. Okay? Oh man, it's hitting 40 frames a second. I thought this was gonna be 60. The horror. Bro, I'll shot you in the head. Oh man. Oh, my bullets. Run. 
Run, run. Oh man. All right, that's enough of that. Good game. Lowest I saw it go was 40 frames a second and the highest I saw it go was high. So definitely gameable on this computer. Right, we're here in Gears of War. You don't need an Xbox for this. It actually runs on PC and Mac. 60 frames a second locked in on the menu screen. Unlimited frame rate, maximum ultra quality. Boom, shakalaka, boom. Take it out, betcha. Right, we're getting, we're getting almost 60 frames a second here. Last we've seen it go is 55 frames a second. We were looking for someone to shoot, someone to kill. Where are they? Bad guys. Bad guys should be afraid. Got a friggin' Mac Pro right next to me. Where are the bad guys? Yep, good thinking. And we've got 59, 58 frames a second shooting this. These guys, remember this is maximum settings, epic settings. Yeah. All right, so that was Gears of War. Lots I've seen it go was 54 frames a second, but generally it's a 60 FPS kind of game. Beautiful, beautiful. Probably one of the best games, if not the best game I played last year in 2019. This is A Plague's Tale, Focus Home Interactive, one of the best stories. It's got Hugo, it's got Aki Ducks, it's got Aspo Studio and graphics preset, ultra, ultra settings. We're getting 38 frames a second in this menu. They're rendering hundreds and hundreds of rats in this game. They wrote this engine specifically to render rats. And if you play this game, you understand why. It's a really, really epic story. So this is 26 frames a second. I'm pretty much saying this is, once you've played a game at 60 frames a second, you cannot go back to 30 or 24. It's just too slow. So I'm gonna just make this slightly less than ultra. I'm gonna make it high. Let's see what happens there. High. All right, so it's still a bit slow here. It's only 33 frames a second. So I'm gonna try bringing it all the way down to medium. See if we can get some frame rates back. Let's go. And no, it's still only 34 frames a second. So I just don't think, but yeah, this game's running a bit slower than expected. This is low settings and we're getting 35 frames a second. Maybe the engine is just it's not a generic one, it's a custom built one. So maybe it needs a bit of optimization to get it at 60 FPS. So we're getting around 22 frames a second on the 5300M, 32 frames a second on the Mac Pro, and 19 frames a second on, was it the 560X? 19 frames a second. Mac Pro is silent, silente, while it's loading this. 16 inch MacBook Pro is fan noise city. 15 inch MacBook Pro is fan noise town. Town. It's not a city yet. It needs a church and a cathedral. But yeah, that's situation with noise. So over at Intel Power Gadget, we can see that we're pulling in 63 watts on the Mac Pro. And on the i7, we're pulling in 10 watts. And on the i9, we're pulling in nine. So there's definitely some sort of reduction of CPU usage due to the pulling in of the GPU on the MacBook Pros. But the the Mac Pro is able to utilize the CPU and the GPU at the same time, just like a desktop computer would. Now, I guess let's do some generic testing just to see the kind of performance level we're looking at here. So I'm gonna jump into 3D Mark. So it looks right here, Time Spy is running a little bit slow, but this is purely graphics. If we, when we stick in a bare GPU, we're gonna get better performance 100%. We've gone 3,858 on the graphics and 9,000 on the CPU, giving us a total score of 4,226. So it looks to me like as soon as we upgrade our graphics, we'll have a nice, juicy, beefy system. Well, we've done a bit of Windows over here. Now for fun, we're gonna jump into the world of virtual machines. We're gonna go into Parallels on Mac OS and simulate Windows gaming using that. I've got it set to use eight cores here. And I guess the first game we want to try out, let's try something crazy. This is Devil May Cry, you know, that's not going to work. But let's try it out anyway. Devil May Cry 5, game came out this year. I'll be surprised if I get some frames in this game. Brand new came out this year, this game. Top notch graphics. Now I am hearing a bit of car wine from the RX 580 graphics over here. I can hear it making little mini explosions from this distance about 
50 centimeters away, very, very mild, behind you. And once the game starts playing, I won't hear it whatsoever. But I thought you guys should know that. 15 frames a second. This is six frames a second. This is sluggish AF. I don't think this is a suitable game to play. 11 frames a second. Oh la la. This is, what the hell? Three frames a second. Six frames a second. Yabba dabba do. Not so good 2019 games on Parallels, unfortunately. But you know, the fact that it got something on the screen, I'm gonna give it credit for that. One star. But yeah, as you can see, the Mac Pro, a gaming beast, a silent gaming beast. Okay, I did hear a bit of car whine on some of the games, but you know, not really that noticeable and you can always move the Mac Pro a bit further away. Obviously, Catalina struggles with the games on Steam, but you can get some gaming action going on there. Epic Games Launcher has some games. Steam also has some games. And if you jump in on Windows, you get a great experience. We ran Resident Evil 2. 60 frames a second, we ran Gears of War, 60 frames a second, and you can always reduce the graphics quality to get even more on some of the other games. So overall, great experience. Stay tuned for the next video where we stick in a Vega 64 GPU inside this behemoth and find out how much performance we can get out of our upgrade. Hope you guys found this video useful. The ultimate games machine, the Mac Pro, and hope you guys enjoyed the show. Some interesting notes, if you fire up MSI Afterburner, it actually gives you the ability to increase the power limit of the GPU, to increase the clock speed of the GPU and the memory. Ah, uh, didn't work. Maybe, maybe with future drivers it'll work, but yeah, that is a state of play today.